All right, guys, go ahead and flip to page 38. We are going to do the top half of that um, page, and we're going to talk about measuring tools. Oh, wait, I told you wrong. We're not doing page 38 just yet. We're going to actually go into page 39. Still that top half. We're going to go through the abbreviation and equivalents and how to measure and all of that. So first things first, our abbreviation for tablespoon varies. It can be three things. The biggest thing I want you to notice here is that it's all got a capital T. So you're going to just use capital T. That's what I personally use when I'm writing recipes because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to type it all out. Or you can use capital TBSP or capital TBS. Teaspoon. Notice here that it is a lowercase and it's TSP. Gallon is just G-A-L. It does not matter if it's lowercase or capitalized. Quart, Q-T, again, does not matter. Nothing matters except for the tablespoon and the teaspoon, okay? Everything else, it can be whatever. Pint, P-T, pound, L-B, ounce, O-Z, hour, H-R, minute, M-I-N, all right, we're going to flip to equivalents. It's just on the other side of abbreviations on that same page, 39. So three teaspoons is going to equal one tablespoon. Four quarts will equal one gallon. Two cups are going to equal one pint. Four tablespoons are going to equal a fourth of a cup. Sixteen cups are going to equal one gallon. One stick of butter will equal one half of a cup. 16 tablespoons will equal one cup, eight fluid ounces will equal one cup, and 16 ounces will equal one pound. All right, guys, I did realize just now that I did not go over what the abbreviation for cup is. Typically, you don't abbreviate it, but if you do, it's just going to be a C. All right, let's talk about how to measure, and this is going to be how to measure specific ingredients. Flour, we are going to scoop it with another device. So if you're going to measure one cup of flour, what I recommend doing is using the half cup or the fourth of a cup, and you're going to scoop the flour with that, put it in your one cup, and then when you're done, you're going to use your flat edge metal spatula and level that off. That is one perfect cup. The reason why we're going to measure it that way is because flour is really dense and it packs together. Okay, and so we need to loosen it up a bit. Brown sugar shortening and peanut butter all gets measured the same way. We want to pack it into our measuring cup and then level it off. I like to use the back of a spoon for this. Here's the deal. These are all pretty sticky items, okay? except for brown sugar. So when you measure shortening in peanut butter, I line my measuring cup with a piece of plastic wrap. And that way, it's not as big of an issue to clean up afterwards. Liquids, we always wanna use our liquid measuring cup. When we use our liquid measuring cup, we place it on a staple surface like our countertop or our table. And we wanna pour our liquid in at eye level. That means that you're actually gonna bend down and you're gonna watch yourself pour that in. Egg size. One large egg is equal to four tablespoons. Now you're probably asking yourself, why do I need to know the egg size? That doesn't matter. Well, you might need to know it because what if you ever need just half of an egg? The way that you're gonna measure half of an egg is you're going to mix that yolk and that white together, and then you'll take your tablespoon and measure out two tablespoons. That's one half of an egg. All right, measuring equipment. So we're going to flip back to page 38, like I told you in the beginning, and I messed up. And um, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to measure with these things. Measuring spoons. We're going to scoop and level with these. When we're in class, always make sure to clean between ingredients. The reason why? Allergens. Um, just because you're not allergic to it doesn't mean that somebody else isn't. I've had many students be allergic to peanut butter especially and cinnamon. So make sure that if you're doing one tablespoon of peanut butter or one tablespoon of cinnamon, and maybe you need both for whatever recipe, you clean between measurements. You've got some standard sizes of measuring spoons. Your standard sizes is one tablespoon, one teaspoon, one half teaspoon, and one fourth teaspoon. Now, with those standard sizes, you will be able to make any recipe. Measuring cups, how do we use these? We're gonna scoop and level. Keep in mind, 
the ingredient that you're scooping in level will vary and you need to follow that first. The standard size is one cup, one half cup, one third cup, and one fourth cup. With these sizes, you're going to be able to make any recipe. Liquid measuring cup, what is it used to measure? Anything that is liquid. If it's pourable, it's a liquid. How is it different from the others? It has multiple measurements in one tool. So it's very useful that way. It must be used on a stable surface and at eye level. That is really why it's different. Okay guys, that's it for now. Have a great day.